Let's get started with registering. You'll notice that there's three tabs here on the homepage of Read Squared. I'm at totowa.readsquared.com. The three tabs are the three different reading programs that we're offering this year, ages eight and under, nine to 14, and then the adult, which is for ages 14 and up. It doesn't matter which program tab you're currently viewing to register. You could just go to the right-hand side and click register now. So you can ignore my group. That doesn't apply to any Totowa patrons. You're going to either choose myself or myself and children. Myself should really be titled individual because it could be an individual child. It could be an individual adult. It's just one account that's on its own. Myself and children means you're linking yourself and your children so that you have a parent child account linked together so that you can control and view their reading. And um, you can also add a username for your children as well so that if you want them to log books on their own, they could do that as well. I'm going to go through myself and children as this example. It's going to ask for the adult information first. So you can just put 19 plus. And I'm just going to do a test account. And this just a reminder, the total reading program is for total residents only. So here's where you're going to select your username. This is really what you're going to use to log in. So for this purpose, I'm just going to do a test, your password, and then hit continue. Then you're going to put your children's information. So this is your child one. Select their age and it will automatically place them into the appropriate program. So if you notice this went into ages eight and under because I selected five years old. When you select school grade, we recommend putting the grade that they just completed. If you already put the grade that they are going into when you registered, no worries. Now here's where you can add a username and password for them to log into Read Squared on their own. So maybe they have their own tablet or device where, or computer where they can go in and you would uh, assign them a username and password and so that they can't view your information, your reading habits, if you choose to participate in the reading program. Then you get to select book recommendations for your kids. So you can select uh, what type of characters they enjoy, the reading level, the kinds of books, or interests. When you're done adding children, if you only have one child, you could click Done Adding Children. Or if you have any more children that you'd like to add to this parent account, you can click continue. I'm going to click done adding children for this purpose. So once you get into the portal, it'll automatically, if you registered a child, say great news, your children has one prize waiting to be picked up. You'll notice here, it'll tell you which family member's portal you're looking at. So right now I'm in the parent, but if I go to the child's account, it'll show all the badges that they could earn this summer for the reading program. And so if you look here, it says they've already gotten this badge, which the prize is a welcome goodie bag. So the welcome goodie bag is something that you guys can pick up at a later date, and that's going to be full of surprises. Um, we have craft supplies, hand sanitizer, and a bunch of other fun stuff so that you guys can get started with supplies that you might need for some of the activities that we're going to be having over the summer. Then you could look at all the other badges that they could earn in the reading program. So if you notice, if you go to 2500, that's where they can earn a mystery gift card. And uh, all of these prizes are earned by earning points and each point is associated with a badge. And it goes, if you've participated in our summer reading program before, it goes pretty, it matches up with what we've offered in the past, but we have thrown in some extra prizes such as a library t-shirt, at 4,000 points, um, an ice cream voucher at 3,000 points, and a pizza coupon at 2,000 points. And you know, the prizes just keep going all the way to 20,000 points. So if you want to log a book, you're gonna go to, you, there's a couple ways you could do it. You can go to logging, click log reading, and then the way that we're tracking log uh, reading this year is by minutes. So 
if I read a book for 35 minutes, I would put it in there and then you could search for the title. And if it comes up, you can click it. If not, you could just type in whatever the title of the book is. And then you're gonna put the author. And now here's where you really wanna pay attention, especially if you have multiple kids under one parent account. You're gonna only wanna select the child that actually read that book for that many minutes. So I'm gonna unselect my parent account so that only the one that's the child is getting the points for this book. Now, if you read the book with your child, you can count it as both of your reading. Same goes for if your, sib uh, if your children read to a sibling, they can both select their accounts to get the points. So I'm gonna unselect the parent because I'm gonna say that the child just read alone, and then I'm gonna hit submit. So that's going to log the activity and it's going to tell you how many points you earned for reading that book. So it says that I earned 175 points for reading for 35 minutes. And you could always call the library and ask questions if you have any. Um, okay, so now you went, oh, I forgot to mention that you can add a book review. If you'd like, you could add stars and you could put a little review so that anybody else in the reading program can see your review. I'm not sure if they see your name linked to it or your username, I should say, but um, I'm pretty sure it just goes in as an anonymous review. All right, now let's go to reading lists. So reading lists are curated lists by a library staff member. And these are just suggested summer reading lists. So you can go to whichever reading level your child may read at, click the link, and it'll bring you to a list that a staff member created of titles that are appropriate for their age and reading level. And the fun part is, is that if you want to, if you do end up reading one of these books, you can go right to the list and click log this book. And you just have to enter how many minutes you read the book for and then hit submit. All the information is pre-filled in. And then you'll earn points. So if you, and then if you go back to the reading list, you can click view in library catalog. Now this feature is really cool because it, if it's a digital copy of a book on Hoopla or OverDrive, it will bring you directly to that website and show you exactly where you can check out this book. Um, you can click borrow and with your Hoopla account, you can check out that book for three weeks. Then if it shows that it's in the library's catalog, it brings you right to the Pals Plus catalog in which you can check and see if Totowa currently has it in stock. It would say checked out here if it's not currently in stock. While the library is closed, you know, we recommend you use Hoopla and OverDrive as much as possible so that you can still check out books from us digitally. You could also log books from home so you don't need to read a library specific book to count for the program. You could also add any books to your wish list. And what will happen is, if you were to go to your homepage, you can see your wish list of all the books that you maybe want to read. To finish the program, you just need to earn a thousand points. And so we've kind of set this up as a baseline, and that's the equivalent of what we think is 10 books. So right now it says that I'm at 30% progress to finish the reading program. But once you're finished with the reading program, that doesn't mean that you're done earning prizes because then there's all of these other badges that you could earn to win prizes. That's just to complete the program and say that you read about 10 books, earned 1,000 points, and you'll get a raffle ticket for um, our grand prize at the end of the summer. Every thousand points you earn in the program gets you a raffle ticket for our grand prizes that are going to be pulled at the end of the summer. And that's the same as it's always been if you've been uh, a reader before in our reading program. Okay, so let's go to events.
So on events, you can see all of the programs that we're going to be having virtually uh, at the library. So you can click on an event. It will tell you where the program is being held, either through Zoom or Facebook Live. If it's a Zoom link, you're going to get the link and a meeting ID. And that's what you would log into at this time if you plan to attend that program. If it's a Facebook Live program, it's just going to give you a little description. And if you click full details, it'll give you the link to get to, to uh, Facebook Live, which is our children's page, Facebook. So we're releasing up to three weeks at a time for our events so that we don't get ahead of ourselves and so that we can adjust any programs that might we might need to add more to or, you know, so that we can accommodate what people are most interested in. There are a couple programs sprinkled in that are actually here. Either they're a drive-in program or our ice cream social distancing program, which is going to be a free ice cream treat will be given to every person in your vehicle. And, you know, you could drive into the parking lot and wave hello, or you can chill in your car and have some ice cream. Uh, we have family cake decorating night. We have, this is a drive-in program called Drive-In Doodles, which is going to be, um, you drive in, we give you some window markers and you could decorate your car. The really cool part is so some of the programs, and you're not gonna know which ones, we might release which ones, maybe the day of on Facebook, we might say, okay, for this spe special program, I'm gonna use the food workshop that I'm gonna be doing as an example. If you come to the food workshop on June 23rd, you're going to earn an extra 25 bonus points. And so that's really an incentive to come and uh, attend the program. And the way that I would know that you're at the program is I would give a special code to anybody who attended. And so, for example, if I say pizza 2020 is going to be the code, you would go back to your homepage click enter code and then you would click uh, you would put in pizza 2020 and select which person attended the program and hit submit now right now if I hit submit nothing would happen because that's uh, an example code but it would say uh, that you earned an extra 25 points and that would go towards your progress for the reading program. And there's going to be tons of ways that you guys can earn extra bonus points on the, with events. There's also something called missions. And right now we don't have any missions set up, but they are activities and challenges that you could also earn extra points for. And so you'll just have to stay tuned. We're going to post on Facebook whenever we end up putting any missions on. The game board, you don't have to worry about. We don't use the game board for the total reading program, but the games is pretty cool. So every time you earn points, you actually are unlocking more educational or stimulating games in the Read Squared website, in your portal. So Every time you read, you're going to unlock more and more games. So these games are actually really great. They're educational. Some of them are reading and literature based. Um, you could play those and just have fun over the summer. You can always go back and see which books you've logged in your reading logging history. You would do that. And then if you need to print it, you know, if you want to have a written um, print out at the end of the summer, you can print it. You could see which prizes you've earned by going to your prizes history. And so right now it says that all I'm getting is the welcome goodie bag. But like I said, as you keep reading, there are more and more badges you can earn. Now, all of the prizes at this point are held at the library until we get the okay to do curbside pickup. When that becomes a reality, you guys will be able to arrange for a pickup time for your prizes. And I think that that is everything you need to know about Read Squared. So if you guys have any questions, please 
reach out to us by giving us a call, emailing us at totalapl at gmail.com, or there is a spot in your portal where you can ask questions. I believe that that's only on the app. I suggest everybody, if you have a mobile device, download the Read Squared app. It's really easy to use. Oh, up here, you can um, actually do texting options as well so that you can uh, turn on your, you can put in your number and you can get text alerts. All right, now that should be it for Read Squared. Like I said, if you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, and we can't wait to see you guys at virtual programs. And if you want to see us and ask questions, I'm gonna be going over all of this again on June 17th at our Zoom into summer at either the 12 o'clock or 6.30 session. So you can come on there and if you do join us on that date, you'll get an extra 50 bonus points to kickstart your summer reading points on Read Squared.